You don't have to make yourself miserable to be successful. All the long nights and the maniac moments of genius yet success isn't about working hard. Plus, you will never feel truly satisfied by work until you are satisfied by life. So the question is, how do you take care of yourself and still make your work perform to expectation? What about the family front that's always begging for attention? If your work life is like juggling five balls at the same time, you are not alone. But you don't have to continue down that lane. It's time to separate personal life from work life and bring them both to a balance point. Stay here, we would hand you the magic wand. Today, we'll be talking about leaving your comfort zone. Hmm. Nobody wants to suffer. No one wants to leave their comfort zone. Going out to look for greener pasture, starting a business is not comfortable. But today, we're going to dig deep into what does it mean? I mean, how do, what, does it, I mean, what does it take for you to leave your comfort zone? Oftentimes, the places you feel most comfortable might not be the best place you're going to grow. A lot of people grow when they have been stretched, when they are in places that they're not used to because they get to learn new skills, they get to meet new people, they get to develop their, their talent, you know, and abilities and potentials that you never knew you had. So it's very important that if you are going to improve yourself, no matter what level you are at the moment, whether you're a top CEO, there's still somewhere, there's still something that you have to still learn to move to your next level. And that is leaving your comfort zone. One way to do this is to create a list of growth goals. You have to have, a, your, your, I mean, first thing is, I am here now. What's my next level? What's my next level for MM? So what do I want to achieve next year? What do I want to achieve in five years' time in my career? What do I want to achieve in my family? It's in all areas of your life. It doesn't just affect only your finances or your career or whatever it is that you're doing. It when you talk about leaving your comfort zone, it affects all the aspects of your life. Your your eating habits. You might be comfortable making mac and cheese every day because it's very easy to cook. You might not be comfortable chopping the vegetables. You might have to make an effort to get organic vegetables instead of just getting the ones that are sold in the supermarket that are not organically grown. So it all depends on what you're looking at at this time. What is the goal that you want to achieve? Have the goal first. Know the areas that you want to improve on and then make plans on how you can grow from where you are to where you want to be. It won't come on a platter of gold. You have to put in the work. And that is why you're leaving your comfort zone. Decide, decide what it is that you need to do. Decide to take time with each and gently step into each one of them till you fulfill everything you plan to do. You plan to make more money this year. You plan to invest. You plan to join an investment club with Tommy Balago. You plan to set, to, write, to to create an online course with Steph O'B. You plan to have a business coach with Tricia. You plan to work with me, MM, as a productivity, personal productivity expert and life coach. You have to make an effort. You have to invest money sometimes. Sometimes you have to invest time. Sometimes you need to speak to experts who are good in that particular area that you're trying to move to. Because it won't just happen with the same group of friends you're associating with with the same environment you've been spending time, with the same books you've read before. You might need to read new books. You might need to pay a coach. You might need to work with a consultant to achieve that particular goals, that particular goal. So, leaving your comfort zone is not comfortable, but you just need to take a step. If you're really going to grow, you have to make that move because you really, really, really need to grow. Thank you. Until next time, M.M. Mogogo, your life coach, author, parent, organizer, founder of La Paz Life Project. Don't lose your life before it begins. Don't miss any episode of Walk Life Balance. It's the way to stay above everything else without losing touch with them. See you at the next one. Don't forget to tell someone only on Africa Business Radio.